Hey guys, it's EXA90. Welcome back to another video. Today we are continuing with the Road to Glory. There's going to be video number three or episode three. Um, as you know, we did sell our De Gea. Awesome pack luck that we had. Opened um, that uh, one of the last uh, Flash SBCs. Cost me about three grand, 3K to, uh, to make. And very were, it was a big risk because... All I had in the club was about 6k and a starter squad. Uh, I took the risk and got De Gea, as you all know. Very lucky, very fortunate for that. We end up with 10, I mean, 10 hundred, 210 coins in the bank. I Out of that, <clears throat> I, I took the freedom to, to use about almost 30k to do this week's marquee matchups. Because I felt like they were pretty easy to do. And then I started spending some coins on the the Scott the Scott the Scottish SBC. That one took a little bit more coins than I thought it would. Um, but with that being said, I felt like it was a good idea. Maybe uh, keep the good luck going. As you see in the background, right now I'm claiming the prizes or the SBC prizes. As you see, I'm not, we didn't pull anything anything big. Like I was expecting to pull something huge, maybe my luck would 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 come. I did a couple of uh, Premier League players, a couple of Russian League players. Um, as you know, Russian there's a lot of SBCs out for leagues. There's the Russian, the Turkish um, Championship. There's um, um, I forget what other ones, but there's a couple more. I can't come up on the top of my head, but there is a couple more. And as you see, I'm just listing everything up, and then. Uh, remember, I, I showed you guys through uh, four teams. There was a Premier League squad, the uh, Serie A or Calcio A, the Italian League squad, um, the Spanish League squad, and the um, Bundesliga one. I think I believe was it Bundesliga? Yeah, it was Bundesliga one squad. Um, out of all of them, I felt Calcio A and the Bundesliga were the pretty cheapest ones that I could build right off the back, you know, not spend too much coins. And I felt like I ultimately decided to go with the Calcio A, the Italian League squad, because overall the squad, I, I, I did add Marchisio. Marchisio cost me about almost 25K, I think it cost me. Oh, yeah, I see. No, he cost me 19K. So I felt like he was worth it. Marchisio. I bought Marchisha, I bought Kadira, I bought um, Costa, Douglas Costa, I bought, um, uh, like I felt like the team had enough pace, defensive wise in the midfield, passing wise in the midfield with Bonaventura, Marquisio, and even Kadira has some decent passing, and then their, their overall strength was good in the midfield, I like, I like having strong midfielders who can defend well, and attack as well. So ben, Buena, Buenaventura and my Marchisio are more on my attacking, and then Kadira and um, Marchisio are also defensive, so they can come back and help um, Manolas and um, I forget the Juventus uh, Benatia, Benatia's uh, a center back, and then I got Lukaku amazing strong left back strong left back he's probably one of the best ones after alexandro in my opinion uh for the calcio a and then on the other side i had um the guy from inter the portuguese man with the pace and and, and, and overall he pa he had good passing and then i went with balotti um costa and i forget the other guy the 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 the, the brazilian um right wing player awesome awesome combination they all help each other out they have good uh, dribbling passing Balotti's a strong guy he holds up the ball for the two wingers and then I decide to go with a with a striker with decent pace 87 uh pace strong and he is super tall he's 6'2 with 87 pace 80 dribbling I think he, had, he has 80 shooting as well which is small of the Russian striker then I pick up promise from the same league these are my super subs and and they like promise cost me about 2k small love cost me about 1500 and then i went i needed a center mid that can do both attack and defend and that was alan the brazilian who plays for napoli and i felt like those were good options um for any 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 um issues that i came up in the game i could just plug them in and boy did small love and promise held up 
and will in in um i think i only brought in i only brought um allen about three times um because I, I had to play the the, the i we qualified to to the weekend league and like i said I, I had to play three times i entered three times the first time i got kicked out in the semifinals the second times we made it to the quarters and we got kicked out because boy were the big teams and um like i said i uh, i just bought the team and i just I should have played at least a couple seasons, maybe two, before I actually try to qualify. Here's on my custom tactics. I like to have a lot of speed as I'm moving up the field. The pressure on the defense, I like having a little bit more relaxed. Let them come to me, and then they do the mistakes. And then my uh, my players, I like to have my, my left back and right back defensive stay back. And then Kadira and Marchisio stay back as well. And then Costa... Um, the two the two wingers and the the striker, as in stay stay centered, and get him behind. And my first game, as you saw right there, we made the one goal. We made it to sec to we made it to halftime, and that's where he decided to rage quit. Second game, I played against a decent uh, uh, team, um, and we were already up 2-0 in going into the second half. Second half almost 50th minute I score a goal I'm already up three to zero um I'm, I f I'm, f I'm getting into a rhythm I'm recognizing the players more because if as you remember on my other accounts I mostly went for Premier League squads because they are regarded as are over as overpowered so a lot of people use a uh, Premier League squad but this year I go with I'm going with the road to glory to start out with we're going to do college away and then as as we proceed with the weekend league and prizes and more coins i'll see what i do eventually maybe i do a hybrid or maybe i still i continue with the with the culture way and then we get the win 5-0 that's like my third free kick ever that i scored right there and then we come up against this awesome team who had a whole bunch of informs uh sbt players and um we start out winning the game 1-0 i think i'm gonna show you all the goals from this game because um I felt like it was a back and forth at the beginning. I scored a goal. He scored a goal. One one. We're up again. And then here, um, off a breakaway. These this is my favorite type of plays. This is why I have the pressure as low, so I can have these um, these type of breakaways. And small of here Get, feeds it into Balotti. Balotti just a little turn and then scores. That's where I love to bring small of it, like in the 60th, 70th minute where. Where the defense is kind of slow and he can use his strength, his height, and his speed to, to, to get him behind. And we get another goal here. We're 3-1 three up, three, one up again, again against a very strong team. Like I said, this team was, was strong. But like I said, it doesn't matter if you have a strong team. And if you can't play with it, you're not going to win. And then Promise. This is why I brought, it, I brought in Promise. Look at that. I brought him in. Get, feed him a through ball. He has 89 pace, but he seems a lot faster in game. Game, and then he scores and then the finals we come up against a pr premier league squad with a whole bunch of training cards um in my opinion training cards should not be used to qualify or to or in the weekend league at all because it just defeats the purpose of of having of you know working to get i understand people buy squads and stuff like buy fifa points and then get make their squads and then there's other people who have to earn their way in and then there's other people who can buy squads but instead buy training cards it's a whole thing i just feel like this shouldn't be allowed but in in this case it wasn't i went up early 1-0 he came back and he scored two goals quickly and it's two to one before halftime but before we go into the half i go with in a couple of like this is a straight off the kickoff after he scored his second goal i go in with a little bit of tiki taka one twos ball and uh score uh to tie the game and then this is again another breakaway i hold the ball with uh felipe anderson that's the player i was talking about and then just um loop lob the ball through over to Balotti and then um dink the, the goalkeeper to get up three two but then the 64th minute he gets a good little through ball to speedster sterling he gets in behind and he scores the goal to tie the game 3-3 i have small back in the put small in the game with promise as well and allen i believe 
Small Love takes a beautiful shot. Look at that. He had minimal space, and and I was able to score the goal right there. I'm, it's 4-3 to three at this point, and then I'm on another breakaway. Promise gives it to Belotti, and like I said, um, Belotti with the strength, and then Felipe Anderson with the speed. And then small of coming in off the bench, like on the 60th minute. Uh, I love that. But I felt at this point I had won the game already, but he wasn't going down that easily. Gives it to Walcott, gets some by himself on the left, and he brings it in within one in the 82nd minute. And I really felt like he was going to be able to tie the game, but luckily I was able to, to keep my composure. I gave it to Promise. Promise did a little dancing there. Gives it to uh, Belotti, I think that was. And then Smolov with a little, I don't know if it was a skill move, a lucky bounce. I got around the player, scored it, and that was the finals, guy. We made it. We're in the weekend league. Um, today or tomorrow, I'm going to be playing some seasons before weekend league actually starts so I can get in rhythm. And if you guys have any suggestions to this team, any other super players that may be under 10K that I can use as a super sub, because um, I don't feel like I need a center mid, somebody strong, fast, and can defend well that I can use to bring in in the second half. Because um, I like I like small love and I like promise. I just need a center mid because I felt like Allen would disappear when I would bring him in. And with that, we qualified guys with 12, 12 and 5 or 6. I can't tell. I'm 12 and 5 at the moment. And um, right now, we're going to go in and play... Uh, more more divisions. I'm gonna play a couple more more seasons. Seasons, my bad. Seasons. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play some of the squad battle challenges and um, and I'm not gonna try to get as high as I can there. I'm just gonna try to get at least to gold one to end the weekend on squad battles and hopefully we get the two packs that we get for free there. That's more coins. That's other item other stuff that can help us out. And um, these are other items that I had in the club from those packs that I've sold. So right now we are currently sitting at 104,000 coins. I have a lot of room to play around with. I spent about 20K on contracts and fitness as you saw at the beginning. And this is the squad. This is how it looks. Promise, Smolov, and Allen in the bench. Balotti's awesome. Costa's awesome. Felipe Anderson is doing good for me. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave me in the section below. Hit the like button. Share with your friends. And yeah, guys, till next time. I am super weird.